Now in this part of the question then, we've got to find the tension T in the tow bar. And what I've done is I've updated the diagram with the acceleration we found in the first part of the question, 0 0.6 meters per second per second. Now to find the tension in the tow bar, you've got to consider either the trailer or the car. It makes no difference, you should get the same answer at the end. What I'll do in this video is I will do both so that you can see how it works. But if I was doing the problem, I would select the trailer purely because it's got the less forces on than the car. OK, so we'll start by doing that. Let's say we consider the car. Sorry, I mean the trailer. Consider the trailer. And if we consider the trailer, what we're going to do is resolve in the direction of motion to the right. So the resultant force on the trailer to the right is T minus 200. So we've got T minus 200 equals, so that's the resultant force, equals mass times acceleration. The mass is 200 kilograms and the acceleration is 0 0.6 meters per second per second. So all we need to do is just add 200 to both sides here. So we'd have 200 plus the 200 times 0 0.6. 200 times 0 0.6 is 120. Add those two together and you've got a tension then of 320 newtons. If you decided to do the car instead, let's just run through that, consider the car. What equation should you have had? Well hopefully you'd resolve to the right again in the direction of motion. You'd have had 1200 then we've got minus the tension and minus the 400 newtons. So minus tension, minus 400 newtons. That's the resultant force on the car. Equals the mass, 800, times the acceleration of 0 0.6. OK, so rearranging this, we've got 1,200, take away 400. Well, that's 800. Add T to both sides. And then you're going to have 800 times 0 0.6. That's going to be 480 and plus the T. Subtract 480 from both sides and therefore we get T equals 320 newtons again. So either way, we therefore have the tension okay, in the coupling or if you like in the tow bar. OK, equals 320 newtons. OK, so hopefully you've been able to follow that and that brings us to the end of this part of the question.